Hi, I'm Olympian Carrie Tellison, and I'm going to show you how to set up your MyLaps bib tag timing system. For demonstration purposes, we will be showing you how to set up an 8 meter bib tag system. For this setup, we use a bib tag decoder, 8 bib tag timing mats, and a bib tag cable set. We will now explain how and where to set up the system, how to connect the mats, how to initialize the decoder, and how to test the system to ensure it is working properly. First, determine the best location for the decoder based on traffic flow, any start and finish line structures, and potential access for electrical power. A few tips. Be sure the mats fill the width of the track or narrow the course using fences or cones to ensure all athletes pass over the mats. Wait for the road to close before setup so heavy vehicles don't damage the antennas. If you want to connect your systems to electrical power during the race, be sure to put your decoders on the side of the road with electrical access. To attain the 99.8% detection rate, you will need to use a main and backup system. Set up your backup system in the same fashion, three meters apart to avoid interference. You'll need to configure your decoders accordingly, and we'll be giving you instructions for that shortly. Lay the bib tag mats on the road and lock them together. The MyLaps logo should face towards the incoming runners to help prevent an athlete from kicking open the flap. The bib tag cable set is numbered to match the antenna ports in the decoder and to indicate the length of cable. BNC connectors are at the end of each cable. One end is elbow shaped and one end is straight. The elbow end connects to the decoder and the straight end connects to the mat. Start with your shortest cable, cable number one. Open the flap on the bib tag mat next to the decoder. Make sure the pigtail cable within the mat is pointed towards the decoder. Connect your cable and make sure the connection locks securely. Place the cable in the tray and feed it through. Move on to the next mat and cable number two. As you continue to add more cables and work them through the trays, they will need to be fed through adjacent cable channels in the mats. Repeat the process for each additional mat you are using. When you are done, close the flaps on the mats. Hook the elbowed ends of the cables to your decoders, making sure the cable numbers match the corresponding ports. Arrange the bundle of cables coming from the mat neatly and watch for kinks. Open the decoder case. In the lid of the case, you'll see the GPS GSM modem, which connects to the modem port. For better signal reception, place the modem outside the controller, preferably higher and connected to a metal piece. Make sure there is no tension on the modem cable and that you can still close the lid without crushing the cable. On the face of the decoder is the I.O. port, which is used to attach external accessories like the start button. Next to that is the GPS modem port, LCD display, scroll button, select button, and two network ports. The network ports are used to connect the decoder to timing and scoring via a local area network connection. Below that is a power button, an AC port to attach to electrical power, external battery connector, and either four or eight antenna ports depending on the decoder model. Turn the decoder on by pressing the power button. The LED light above the button and the lights at the front of the case should turn on. After the decoder has started up, the LCD screen should read GPS locked. Adjust time to GPS, hit the select button to synchronize your decoder to GPS. Depending on reception, it can take a while before this message appears. Press the scroll button and scroll to Timeline Setup and press Select. Scroll to Profile and press Select. If this is the first system the runners will encounter, set the profile to Main. If this is the second system the runners will encounter, set the profile to Backup. Make sure the profile is never set to Scanner or Expo during the race. Press the scroll button and scroll to Timeline Setup and press select. If you are setting up a start system in the United States, your primary and backup system will be placed behind the start line according to USATF regulations. The system closest to the start line should be set to main. In some countries outside the United States, where the systems will be placed on the course, the system closest to the start should be set to main. Scroll to number of antennas and press select. Verify that the number in the middle of the screen is the amount of mats that are connected to the decoder. You might be using a decoder with eight antenna ports, but only using a six meter system. 
you'll want to check the signal strength of the antennas. You can do this using a BibTag antenna tester. Stand in front of the middle of the mat and hold the antenna tester between thumb and index finger to prevent your hand from blocking the signal. Hold the antenna tester two feet or 60 centimeters above the ground, parallel to the mats. The LED should light up now. Slowly raise the antenna tester up. The LED should light up to at least five feet from the ground. If it doesn't, check the antenna cable and mat connections and replace them if necessary. You can also use a bib tag to test the equipment. Start at the furthest antenna and walk the bib tag over each mat. On the LCD screen, an empty box is shown as a visual representation of each antenna. The boxes will fill temporarily as bib tags are detected in their field. To protect the decoder from rain or other weather elements, carefully close the lid with the cables going out the right-hand side of the case, making sure not to crush the cables. Practice setting up in advance so you have an idea of the amount of time you will need on the day of the event. Go to mylaps.com for more information or assistance and have a great event.